tuning in. Um, we have caller number four in queue. Caller number four, if you could state your name and where you're calling from. Who is Bob Cartoon, a.k.a. the Magic Man Haru? And I'm calling <laughs> from uh, downtown Nashville. Uh, I'm enjoying this show so far. I'm going to get back safely before the show's over about the importance of soul in a minute. Now, it's time to provide an answer that's been a mystery to a lot of people. Now, this is part of why I was woken up almost 37 years ago, and I was told to take this message to the people who need it the most. Okay, so you go to Battle Sheets of Genesis, chapter 13, verse 12 through 15. And it says, and the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham, and lo, a horror of great evil fell upon him. Verse 13, and he said unto Abraham, nor of a surety your seed shall be a stranger in a land that's not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them for 400 years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterwards they shall come forth out of her with great suffering. Okay, now I want you to listen to that according to our uh, biblical prophecy, be it the Torah or the Holy Bible as we know it, and listen to what took place a couple of years ago, right? Notice that 400 years. So it's of 2019, it commemorates 400 years since the forced arrival of Africans to British-controlled North America was first documented in the year 1619. 1619, 2019 is 400 years. Although the scholars point out that the history of the African Americans is much more complicated. In other words, they don't want to say that it was already here before the slave sale. Okay? <laughs> so that's a biblical prophecy. So now, if you really, really look at the math of it, woman of God and everybody who's listening now, we're really only three years out of this. So within those 400 years, the soulless ones, the evil ones amongst the, the through the white power structure, they were allowed to rape men, women, and children and get away with it. So this is something that we had to be put in a state of amnesia to even endure such a thing. But I want our people in particular to not only be upset about what took place, but rejoice and be glad because we're the only people that could have went through that type of hell and still be here. We're really, really three years out, and our minds are very childlike. So we got a lot of work to do with a little bit of time, okay? So I had to get that in there. Also, I've got some very good news for you. Congratulations to the Honorable Angela Thomas Smith on your WBNN all-time connection record with your 38th all-time, our personal best of eight consecutive with the historic Darlene Lawrence Championship, honoring our late Hall of Famer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Thank you. Wow. You're very welcome. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm at lost for words tonight. I tell you, we got a track now. Thank you, Brother Hooney. Thank you, Brother Hooney.